क्वेश्चन टेन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज हैज थ्री पार्ट्स एंड देर आर थ्री रैशनल नंबर्स इन ईच पार्ट वी हैव टू राइट दोज रैशनल नंबर्स इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो लेट्स लुक एट पार्ट वन इन विच द थ्री नंबर्स आर माइनस थ्री बाय फाइव माइनस टू बाय फाइव एंड माइनस वन बाय फाइव अरेंजिंग दीज नंबर्स इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर इज ईजी टू डू सिंस द डिनोमिनेटर्स आर द सेम फॉर ऑल थ्री वी सी दैट द डिनोमिनेटर इज फाइव इन ईच केस so we can simply compare the numerators the numerators are minus 3 minus 2 and minus 1 and we note that minus 3 is less than minus 2 is less than minus 1 and this means that minus 3 by 5 will be less than minus 2 by 5 will be less than minus 1 by 5 so this is the the three numbers arranged in ascending order for the first part Okay then in part 2 we have the numbers minus 1 by 3 minus 2 by 9 minus 4 by 3 so if you look at the denominators the denominators are 3 9 and 3 and the lcm of these denominators is 9 so the second number is already with the denominator 9 so let's uh, convert the first number and the third number into equivalent rational numbers with denominator 9 So minus one by three can be written as minus one into three by three into three. So this will be minus three by nine, correct? And similarly, I can write minus four by three, multiply above and below by three. So this I can write as minus twelve by nine. So if we now compare the numerators of the three numbers, the first number has a numerator of minus three, the second number has a numerator of minus two. and the third number has a numerator of minus 12 so if we arrange these numerators in ascending order uh, we will get minus 12 less than minus 3 less than minus 2 and if we now divide uh, all of them by 9 we will get minus 12 by 9 less than minus 3 by 9 less than minus 2 by 9 so this means in lowest form minus 12 by 9 Uh, in the original form was minus four by three, right? Then minus three by nine in the original form was minus one by three, and then we have minus two by nine. So this is the three numbers in part two arranged in ascending order. So this is the answer for part two. Okay, now let's come to part three, in which we have to arrange minus three by seven, minus three by two, and minus three by four in ascending order. now the denominators are 7 2 and 4 and the lcm of these three numbers is 28 so we will write each of these three fractions each of these three rational numbers as equivalent rational numbers with denominator 28 okay so minus 3 by 7 we can multiply above and below by 4 this will give us minus 12 by 28 then minus 3 by 2 we can multiply above and below by 14 so this will give us minus 42 by 28 and then minus 3 by 4 if we multiply above and below by 7 this will give us minus 21 by 28 okay and now if we compare the numerators of these equivalent fractions the numerators are the smallest one is minus 48 then we have minus 21 and then we have minus 12 so from here we can say that minus 42 by 28 is less than minus 21 by 28 is less than minus 12 by 28 and now let's write them in their original form minus 42 by 28 was minus 3 by 2 so minus 3 by 2 is less than minus 21 by 28 was minus 3 by 4 is less than minus 12 by 28 which was minus 3 by 7 so in part 3 this is the arrangement of the three rational numbers in ascending order okay now in part 3 uh, there is an alternate way we could have done this uh, part we could have arranged the three numbers in uh, ascending order let me talk about that alternate path so we observe that the numerators of the three rational numbers are equal so we have minus 3 minus 3 and minus 
so if we ignore the negative sign and just compare the magnitudes 3 by 7 3 by 2 and 3 by 4 we will see that 3 by 7 because it has the largest denominator it will be less than 3 by 4 which will be less than 3 by 2 so we can directly write uh, this just by observing that the numerator uh, the numerators are the same and now if we put a minus sign the the sign of the inequality uh, will change direction so basically 3 by 7 if we, if this becomes minus 3 by 7 this will become greater than minus 3 by 4 which will become greater than minus 3 by 2 and from here if we write these three numbers in ascending order we will get this same order minus 3 by 2 is the smallest then we have minus 3 by 4 and then we have minus 3 by 7 so this is an alternative way to arrive at the same order of numbers okay so this completes part 3 and with this we have completed question number 10 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers